Hello YouTube, welcome back. So I think today we're doing our sixth video on pricing options and this one is pricing uh, an option using a binomial tree. But for this, uh, for this binomial tree we're going to include a dividend in order to make it a little bit more complicated. So we're going to price an American call option. An American option is one that can be early exercised um, with, with a dividend that's paid. And so we're going to work through an example of pricing this option on a dividend paying underlying. We're going to use a two-step binomial tree. And if this stuff seems complicated to you, I would advise you to go back and watch my other videos first. And actually, if you're even new to options, I have a sort of a beginner's option series. And all of my videos are broken down into playlists as well, if you kind of want to work through them in a linear manner. Um, and also, all of the, the videos are by my book, which is called Trading and Pricing Financial Derivatives. And there's a link to that in the description below. So anyhow, let's look at how we can price an American call option on a dividend paying underlying using a two-step binomial tree. So let's talk about the option we're going to price. The underlying we're going to say is trading at $30 right now, so that's the price of the stock or the whatever it is, the underlying, well I guess it's a stock because it pays a dividend. So the stock is at 30 the strike price of the option is at 30 as well, so that means it's a call option, so you have the right but not the obligation to buy this stock for $30. Um, the U, the, the amount it can move up is 1.1 and the amount it can move down is 0 0.9 and I, I've explained where those numbers come from in a prior video as well. And the time to expiration, for simplicity's sake, here we're going to use two years, so it's a two-step binomial tree, so each step will be one year long. And our interest rate is going to be 5%. So that information is up on the screen right now, and if you want to sort of note it down, uh, you'll be able to do the calculations along with me as we move. Uh, so you can pause the video if you want. Okay, so here we have our, our option and we're going to, to price it using the binomial tree. So the first step is, of course, to draw the binomial tree. So we draw our framework, our lattice, and we write in the information we know. So we know that the underlying is trading at 30, so we write in there S0 equals 30. We then know that it can move up by 10% uh, uh, by multiplying by 1.1. So 30 times 1.1 gives us 33. So the underlying at the up node is worth 33. Um, we know that it can move up again by the same amount. So 33 times 1.1 gives us, uh, what does it give us? 36.3. So we write that in at the up, up node. It can move down, so 30 times 0.9 gives us 27, so that's the value of the underlying at the down node. And it can move down again, so 27 times 0.9 gives us 24.3, so we put that in at the down, down node. And then, of course, the middle node, it can have moved up, down, or down, up. It'll calculate out the same thing, so we take 30, multiply it by 1.1, uh, and then by 0.9, and that gives us a value of 29.7. So that's so far the same as any other binomial tree, but in this example, uh, the underlying is going to pay a dividend, and we've set it up that the dividend occurs a day before expiration. So what we have to do is take out that, that dividend. So, um, and the reason for this, and I explained this in one of my other videos, a more basic uh, video on options, is that whenever a stock pays a dividend, you would expect the price of the stock to fall by the amount of the dividend. Um, so uh, what we have to then do is move down each of those uh, stock prices at expiration by the amount of the, the dividend which has been paid the day before. Uh, so then we take our 36.3 and subtract the $2.50 dividend, and that gives us $33.80. We take our $29.70 and strip out the $2.50 dividend, and that gives us $27.20. And we take our $24.30 and strip out the $2.50 dividend, and that gives us $21.80. So they are our 
three likely uh, price points at expiration based upon the, the information that we have. And so now all we have to do is say, what would this option be worth at each of those different scenarios? So we said it was a call option with a strike price of 30, and a call is the right but not the obligation to buy the underlying at, uh, at the strike price, or the right to buy at 30. So you'd actually only exercise that option if the underlying is trading above 30. And in our three price outcomes, actually only one of them is above 30. At the up-up node, the underlying's at 33.8. At the up-down node and at the down-down node, it's, it's below 30 in each of those scenarios. So in each of those scenarios, this call option expires worthless. So we have kind of an easy enough calculation to do here. We just multiply P by $33.80 and present value it. So we do that, $33.80 multiplied by P, and the calcu the, uh, we, we've explained where P came from in a prior video as well. And we do that calculation and we come to a value of $2.73 at the up node and a, value, a derivative value of $0 at the down node. And so then all we have to do is compare that calculated value to the intrinsic value of the option, right? So we've worked out that if this was a European option, at the up note, it would be worth $2.73. Now, it's not European, it's American. You're allowed to early exercise. So we say, well, if the underlying was at 33 and you have the, you have the right to exercise at 30, that option has to be worth at least $3. So we cross out our calculated value of $2.73 and we sub in $3. And so then we once again multiply P by uh, $3 and 1 minus P by $0. So it's really just P times $3 present valued. And that comes to $2.16, which is the fair value of our call option. So that sort of shows you how you deal with uh, dividends in a binomial tree. And it's, it's not hugely complicated. So we've got sort of two complications in that derivative. One is that it's American and one that it has a dividend. And as you can see, the binomial tree is flexible enough to deal with both of those scenarios. So that is really it. So in our next video, we're going to learn a little bit more about American options in that we're going to learn when it's optimal to early exercise an option, because often people are confused as to whether you should or should not early exercise an American option. And so that that is it for this video. See you tomorrow. Bye.